Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Ida British Wolf, and today we are playing another round of A Dream of Markiplier. Now, here's a question. Where the fuck was I supposed to go? <laughs> I genuinely can't remember, and I only did this yesterday. There we are, I was worried for a second that we locked up. I've uh, been here before, that's where Matt and Ryan was. Kids were a problem, somewhat funny. Uh, that's study. We don't need the study. It's not about the study. Study, study. What's in here? This is a dining room. This is a hall. That's a lounge. Uh, that's the kitchen. Don't need to be in here. What's this? Ah, oh, that's a bathroom. Why don't we go here? Please make sure you feed the cat while you're away. Love, Erin. I'll just have a quick look and see what uh, some of these things say. She's lying. She's not sick. She says she is. Oh, I've already been in here. I've been in here before. Nobody cares. Okay, so... Here? Yes, that's why I need to go. Huh. My eyes hurt, looked in the mirror, and definitely have a black eye. It's not the first time, I doubt it'll be the last I've had enough of this abuse. <clears throat> Can't believe what happened. Mom, we're going to PAX and the road was icy. Next thing we know, the car's crushed into the side tree. I kept asking and asked if Mom was okay, but she didn't respond. Paramedics came and checked over her. It was fine, but Mom told me her neck must have broke when she hit the dash. She's dead, my mom is dead, but Clyde, I, her, Clyde and I will take care of each other. I'm sure we will, but Clyde's been kind of aggressive lately. Oh, the backyard. Hmm. Little pool there. A swimming pool, just a pool pool. Hey, what's this? Slender's diary, eh? Hmm. This may come in handy. Yeah, that's probably a bad idea to pick up. Hello, Slender. Hello, Slender. Oh, God, not you! Yes, it is I, the almighty Slenderman. I was sort of hoping I would come across you. Too bad, I finally have you within my grasp. I can finally squeeze that tiny soul from you, Markiplier. You'll never take me alive. No fun of a stupid mole. You think you can stop me? What are you going to do this time? Take my pages? No. Well, stand still so I can kill you. Wait, 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 wait. Before you kill me... Oh, what now? Don't you have some merchandise? Yes, what about it? I kind of need it, so... Could I fight you for it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. That's too funny. I need it. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? I'm invincible. Am I going to fight Slenderman if I don't have any ways of distracting him? Wait, the diary I found. I could, use, I could humiliate him and use a wolf sash to punch him. Oh, Makimu, you're so smart. Oh, thank you, Ming. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, nothing. You say you're invincible, but I know a way to weaken you. Weaken me? <laughs> That's hilarious. What are you going to weaken me with, a stick? Nope. I found your diary! Where did you find that? On the path. It'd be such a shame if someone were to read it out loud. Dear diary. Give me that! Good evening, everybody. My name is Wilfred Wolfson. Today, I'm trying to get an exclusive interview with the world-famous Slender Man. Now, if only so, I haven't seen this one, so it might be a bit difficult for me. Sissy baby that he is out of his little woods there. But perhaps we could find some clues to his whereabouts later on. Skip. <sighs> it appears we've come across a rather strange tree. Although it doesn't seem to be anything particularly odd hmm. about it, but hopefully there will be some... Wow! Let's see here! We've got a Oh, this block. is gonna Mary suck to edit Slender together. Man. I just know there's gonna be another fade. Dear Slender Man... Oh, he addresses <laughs> it to himself. How adorable. Dear Slender Man, today I saw him. He looks so gorgeous there with his long, flowing mohawk. 
and his entirely muscular build. This one that I love so dearly, a Mr. Markiplier. Well, it seems that the Slender Man has a romantic interest that we need to interview him about. <laughs> what a sissy. Oh, here's another page of a Slender Man. Oh, see, read. Oh, no. This Markiplier has been stealing my channel pages, but that doesn't matter because Markiplier Senpai will notice me some Just think of doing that accent causing me to just... Oh, what's this? The accent, if you keep that up for ages, you really do start drooling. Pages of sissiness. Well, let's see. Ugu, it goes again for a while, just ugooing all over the place. How? Markiplier picked up my page that confessed my love to him, and yet no avail, he has not responded to my... Uh, 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 and then it rambles on for quite a bit. Oh, how I wish he would let me just slide my... T <laughs> oh, whoop, I, whoa, that gets a little bit... Gra oh, I was just told by my news station that Wilford Wolfdash did not read the last note. Oh, it was so oh, difficult. Plainly. Warfstash's mustache is stupid. What did you say to me, you son of a bitch? Warfstash don't take shit from nobody. I'm gonna come there and shove your tentacles so far uh. as your ass. You'll never be able to see the light of day. Warfstash is spitting quite profusely again. Oh, see what I mean? Well, well, like, even he drills. Well, what do we have here? The Slenderman's gigantic red dildo, D-I-L-D-O <laughs> device, otherwise known as a dildo. <laughs> Let's read what it says here. Oh, how I wish that this dildo could be Markiplier for real. <laughs> I would just imagine. Oh, God. They had like five cuts. That's going to be hell. You, you didn't read it, did you? Oh, you bet I did, Slendy boy. I don't believe you. If you truly have read it all, then how would I describe your mohawk? Long and flowing. What I call you my second in that? I oh, know. Markiplier Senpai. You're stupid. It is, but you must have fought it yourself, Kent declares. And what was the vice Warstash find? A D I L D O. Always known as. The Dildo. Slide tentacles inside. Who's supposed to read that? That's my chance to get revenge. Wolfstash equipped. What's the matter, Slendy? And Mouth, I know your secret. I'm assuming it turn into Wolfstash if you're wearing it. Well, I think it's best you give me that merchandise before I tell the world of your obsession with me. I'll never give it to you, you're a meanie. Alright, Slendy, you are Slendy. Wolf Snash. PUNCH! Ah, oh, my balls! My balls! Who would do this to my balls? That's what you get for spooking me all those years. Merch, please. <laughs> Pillow of my face. Hope you haven't been kissing this. Cat, make promises. Bye, Slendy. Enjoy the pain in your balls. <laughs> oh, it's a joyous rapture. I'm a little, uh, little annoyed at that because it was a suit. It was easy for me to remember or get all the answers, but. That is going to be a mother fucker to edit. It had like five different things and I have to remember each and every one. I wonder if Terrell's behind this pillar. No pillar is too strong to be destroyed by the not a penis 300. A monument in memory of Erin Wogan. Stefano, I think you're in the wrong game. For some reason, this one looks like it wants to nibble my giblets. Generic RPG make a dragon statue. Couldn't you have gone something more interesting, damn developer? Oh, shut, hush you, I'll try. <laughs> Hello, baby. Rockin' that cloak, mind if I rock it with you? 
That was weird. <laughs> Hello, baby. Come here often. It's like Elvis Presley to that accent he puts on, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, baby. Boo. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not gonna go yet, yet. So, where would the last one be? Cause I don't know a fucking thing. I'm wandering around blindly. And I don't have a clue where to go. That's an armory, and that's where Worth Dash was. Clyde's room. Millionaires move into seven million dollar mansion. Millionaire Aaron Wogan in Dayton, Ohio, has just moved into a brand new mansion worth seven million on Ask Town. Five floors and work by Miss Wogan, her new one as well as her partner whose name is yet to be revealed. Catalogue for exotic beers, wines and ales. Well, someone was a little bit of an alcoholic. Nine months Wayne, uh, Astrid Lane's father here, she's so beautiful, everyone says she looks like me, not her father. Thank God for that, I say. Who would have face of a monster like him? Ooh, even a woman says so. Clyde has a problem, drinking problems, making him aggressive, more aggressive than usual. Remember when I was a little girl, he promised me he wouldn't ever let anyone hurt me a mom, in case Brooke promised. Who would have thought he'd be the one hurting us? One of the people closest to my heart is hurting me. I want to love Clyde, but I just can't anymore. She's dead. Erin said, I can't believe it. She's killed none of my own daughter. I will never forget. After this, she will pay. I get the feeling that somebody's kind of a dick. Yeah. It's pretty much a given. So let's just see what we've got over here, shall we? A little hangout room. When I begin to explain the beating, you watched as I sat there bleeding, you never cared about my feelings, you hurt had, uh, hurt, my hurt had no healing. Oh, it's a poem. Okay then. Off we go. I was hoping that was a mouse hole. Perhaps an Undertale reference. This pot is filled with rainwater. This pot is filled with cocaine! I'm kidding, it's rainwater. I wish it was cocaine, I'd take it with me and sell it. Cocaina. Ah, the home theatre. A theatre for homes. Don't know where the fuck to go. Here's to the bitter eye of the even sky, the acidic beverage I imbibe. Imbibe? Imbibe. So I can feel just a little more alive for the cardiac killing, back breaking, blood spilling, sweat distilling, nine to five. Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did, I Yeah, I don't fucking know. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm wandering around aimlessly right now, just looking for a room I haven't been in. For people that potentially might be giving me answers. Hmm, cherished memories, never fade, love one is gone, love can never be a tough part. Yeah, 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 yeah. Emotional garbage that nobody cares about. Hey, Astrid! Astruno! See, Slendy, uh, Slendy Balls didn't exactly give me a clue as to what a dick I was supposed to head next. The attic. Ah, there it is. Attica! Attica! Saving! What have we here? We have something that I can interact with. That's what we fucking well have. What's this? What's this? Please, please save me a scribble over by lies. 
Hey! Danny? Aaron? You guys, are you guys, uh, here? Why, yes, we are. The fuck you want? First off, Aaron, I get that you're a grump and Danny's not so grump, but cut the sassy sass, and secondly, I'm looking for some merchandise. Yeah, we have some of that, and Danny sex back, okay. I know that sounds the same as Markiplier, but it's the only voice I've ever heard. Like, I don't really know the game Grumps that much. I watched a video of uh, Chinese Door Explorer, again, another Leximation uh, animation. And that's basically all I know. It could have been those two. I'm not saying it isn't, it's just I don't know. <laughs> but we are just gonna, g we are just gonna give, it, <laughs> give it to you. You gotta fight us. Do I have to? I've, I've fought like six people today. Can't you just give it over? Ain't gonna happen. Oh, come on, please. Nope. Danny? Sorry, gonna have to go with Aaron. Ugh, fine. So what do I have to do? <laughs> well, you're Markiplier, right? No, I'm Felicia Day. Of course I'm Markiplier! <sighs> How about a quiz? Well, quizzes aren't my strong point, but it's about me, so how can I be? Pretty difficult question, so maybe we'll catch you out. But that's just a theory. A game theory? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Wow. <laughs> sorry, I couldn't resist. Shall we begin? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I got a little carried away there. Uh, I know he's kind of short, so this. I. You know, something smash who did you voice? I don't know what is this. There wasn't even a video. Announcer? How to Paul dance? Uh. Light blue tank top? Fuck. Fuck, fuck. As I said, I don't know these things. The tank top of the fluffy vest was my guess. Like a hoodie seemed unreasonable. Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna pause the recording here so I can quickly go grab the video I need for the part that required the war fashion slender man. Which is going to be a bitch to edit. I'm going to quickly smash it all into Vegas and uh, try to edit it as fast as humanly fucking possible to try to keep it fresh in my mind. And I'll be right back and carry on this and then we'll finish the game and then we'll go. And then I never have to edit this video again. <laughs> be right back. Okay, so, the monkey is called Crystal, I know that because I failed last time, you won't see that, but I failed. I still don't know, like I failed this last time as well, it's not that one, so, the ballad, no it's not, I will be right back, I fucking, okay, we're back, back again, guess who's back, tell a friend, anyway. Sandman! That is the answer. Might I say, you've been giving us clues up until now. I'm not Markiplier. I wish I was. There's a lot of fucking things that he can do. Also, he has a lot more muscles than me, and I would appreciate that. <laughs> but, you know, just... I haven't got any clues to this, so it was just basically all blind and trial and error. So this is going to be a mother. Fucker to paste together. So here we go. Ah, oh, you dick. <coughs> okay. So it's on his stomach because he had a blockage. And that was what it was. <laughs> Lewis! I don't fucking know. Hey! Be back again! Okay! Mm. 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 kill quizzes. Okay, just give me a second. Now, 
getting kind of sick of this because I've had to edit this fucking video 20 fucking times now! 20 times! The majority coming from this one fucking thing. So, for your sake and my own fucking sanity, I'm cheating. Hawaii. First gets you made in current channel call. It's not that one, because that came later. One of these two. <sighs> okay. So, as I thought, apparently, according to the internet, it is this one. Who animated the baby plier video. Okay. One more second, because I think it's Lexian. But I can't be sure. Just want to be sure, because Coyote Animation does 3D. I know that much. But I want to make absolutely sure, because I do not want to have to go through this again. So bear with. Okay. It was right. As I thought. Good. Finally. Thank fuck. Oh, I hate quiz shows. If I was ever- if- If this was how, like, a Who Wants to Be a Millionaire worked, I would have strangled Chris Terran. I would have reached over the fucking things and strangled him, you know? I'm gonna redo it over and over again. That's a purgatory right there. That's a limbo being stuck, constantly answering questions over and over. It's like it's like school, but with more annoying restarts. Because in school you never got the fucking restarts. Oh stop it you. No, you stop it, you sexy son of a bitch, you. What do you just call Danny sexy? Uh, I gotta go now. Places to be spirit to summon, you know bye! Ooh, error there. He should have disappeared, but he didn't. Okay. Yes, I would like to save my game. Gotta choose. This is a hard one. Do I believe the mysterious voice lady or the ghost Clyde guy? Which do I choose? Voice lady. I think I should stick with this mysterious voice lady. So I'm quite going. Strong hatred towards her. I don't think I should trust him. I think I'll do my initial plan and head to Astrid's room. Yep. That's not the one this is. It's probably the wrong thing. Is that Astrid's room over there? Was I right first time? Nope, that's the armory. That's completely wrong fucking place. Uh yeah. No. That's a music room. What a dick is it? Ladies' room? For sleeping in, apparently, not for pissing in. I would assume, considering it's called a ladies' room, eh? Study! I swear to god, her room should be somewhere around here. Or is it on the second floor? Did I get the completely wrong floor? It's here, isn't it? <sighs> what do you think you're doing? You scared me. I'm going to save Astrid. Drosh is done, you still want to save her? Yes, yeah, she needs my help. Sorry, but I can't let that happen. Why the hell not? Don't ask questions, I said no and that's the end of it. Guess what, I'm a grown ass man, I can do whatever I want. Now unless you want to get out of my way, I won't be responsible for my actions. Looks like you want to fight me then. Wait, I never said that. What's the matter, too weak, too scared to fight me are you? No. Leave him alone you motherfucker! <laughs> what the? Squirrels? <laughs> we are merely squirrels. We're from the Mark Squadron of Plio, which stands for Protection Legion of Incredibly Elite Rodents. Who moon walk? What are you guys doing here? We're here to help you, Mark. You're a king, remember? We want to help you defeat this battle. This is so awesome. Well, Clyde, who have you got on your side? I have a bunch of squirrels, and who do you have? Nobody! To beat a bunch of rodents easily. Prepare to be defeated, ghostly man! I'm gonna destroy you! Yeah, using the power of teamwork and shut it, never brand die, you fucking son of a bitch, you can eat my shit! A little extreme. <laughs> Sorry, I get a little too angry when I'm fighting someone. Ain't how my dog encouragement goes! Why are these squirrels sticking up for you?
I'm defeated by none other than rodents. Off to hell you go, bitch. Nice job, guys. No problem. That was fun. I enjoyed it. I fucking did it. I my shit. Dipper. Sorry. Good job, team. <laughs> anyway, let's head back to take sugar paperwork then. See you, Max. Stay safe. Bye, guys. That was awesome. Now what? Oh, yeah. Return to Merch Astro's room. Hello, voice lady. I have merchandise. Oh, you did? Good. So good. It would be great to finally see you. It's see me. Who are you? I'm Astrid. You're Astrid? So is this your room? Used to be, yes. What do you want with me, and how do you know me? Thought you'd gather that from the merchandise. I used to be a fan back when I was alive. Really? Well, thank you. No, Mag, thank you. You got me through some bad times. It's not a problem, really. I'm just glad people watch, you know? Yeah. I'm sorry, but can I ask you something? You wanna ask me something? Um, sure. That's the way. As I've been going around the house, I've read some things about you, and I'm a little confused. So if you don't mind me asking, what happened to you? That's well, a long story. I'm willing to listen, but if you don't want to talk about it, I completely understand. But let's get the truth out, to be honest. I think I'll tell you the truth about what happened to me. We have test results back, Miss OK, and it turns out you've caught pneumonia. This could be true of antibiotics, plenty of fluids, and rest. Oh, thank you, Doctor, but I don't, do I not need to go to the hospital? No, not unless it gets very severe. Okay. Mr. OK, make sure your daughter is kept off school until conditions improve. Make sure she does not do too much. Look after her. Yes, Doctor, of course. Thank you. <coughs> Stupid bitch. Do you th don't you think I have better things to do than take care of you, huh? Daddy, stop, please. You're hurting me. In my house. You're my daughter. I can do what I want. Forbidden for leaving this room until I say otherwise. Do I make myself clear? <coughs> If I get sick, I don't know what I've done wrong. At least I have YouTube. Oh, hey, Max uploaded. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier, and welcome to another episode of Drug Minecraft with Bob and Wade. Oh, you will never be a grunt. I'm a jerk. I'm a jackass. I'm a jackass. Tell you the internet's out of bounds. It's my, it's for my use only. And you're watching that man again. My use only. I can only assume that he's probably wanking off. I'm barely in there. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie me, you little slut. You have an Arcplay guy on your computer. I just saw. Never let me do anything, Dad. You think you can lock me up in this house all the time? Beat me senseless whenever you like it? Never let me ha have my happiness, ever. Don't deserve to be happy after what happened to your mother. It was a car accident. I couldn't stop it. Where was she taking you, huh? She was taking me to PAX to meet Markiplier. Exactly, so it's all your fault. Kind of stupid logic there. Fuck you. What did you say to me? I said fuck you! <coughs> and more domestic abuse. <coughs> to be fair, she probably has like... I don't know, a, a, a coat rack or a hairbrush. I want to just snap one of those down to size and stab the bastard. But that's just me. I like to use violence in quite a few things. You know? I find violence is a lot of answers to people being abused. When you think about it, someone's abusing someone, and then the person who's taking the abuse suddenly turns around and boom! Beats the crap out of the person who's abusing them. I know it's not probably the healthiest way, but I mean, I don't like people who beat the crap out of people for no reason. I think Dad isn't helping, but he's still making me do chores and beating me. I don't think I'll survive the illness. I haven't had medicine in weeks, and it's only now I managed to get a hold of some. There's so many things I haven't done in life. Most of the time, I'm i have never got a problem, I've never had a boyfriend, I've never got a sleep in, I've never had any friends. Things will always be outraged before my illness gets out of hand. I pass it just one final thing I want to do, and that's meet Mac. I'll. I'm sure that if I told him my story, he'd reassure me that everything will be alright, and maybe just maybe help me out. Dream come true, but it's just another dream Markiplier I won't let me. Yeah, let me, uh, I won't let the fact that it's merely a dream stop me. I'll chase that dream. Mark told us to never give up on dreams. I'll take that advice. I will meet Markiplier. It's the last thing I do.
and better. Father, no, what father could do that? Mine. No one should ever be treated the way you were. He should be ashamed. But he's not. You said that your dying wish was to meet me. That's right. Brought me so much hope, so much happiness. You helped me escape from my hell and helped me see the light. You're just an amazing guy. There needs to be there needs to be more people like you in the world. After my mother died, I discovered you, and you just made me so happy. But my dad didn't like seeing me happy. He enjoyed my misery. Truth is, you're my hero. I never got to meet you, but you were like my best friend, and now you're here talking to me. It's just incredible. I had no idea I could bring anyone so much happiness, Astrid. I just want to know that you are loved. I care about you. I know I never met you when you were alive, but I do genuinely care. Thank you for enlightening me. I know. It's the least I can do. Hopefully I can put you to rest now. You freed me. Now I can pass on, but before I go, Mac, may you be smiled upon. You too. Goodbye, Astrid. I'll never forget you. That hit hard. I never knew I could have such an effect on people. It just shows how, many, how much my fans need me. Hopefully no one going through what she went through. In fact, no one should ever go through that. I think I should go. Maybe I can find someone to fix my car. Nah, I better, I better find someone to fix my car. It's fixed! Wait, there's a note. A little thank you gift. Thank you, Astrid. Thank you so much. Good end! Hey, party! Top of the morning to you- oh. <clears throat> Top of the morning to you, Jack! Top of the morning to you, Mark! Jeez, what took you so long to get here? Long story. Ah, I see. Let's get in some Guinness. Maybe in a little while. I'm just gonna say hi to everyone. Alrighty, see you then. Won't Guinness be bad for him? He can't drink alcohol. Make you play! Daddy Box Tim! Hark, you found me again! Sure did. How are you, my little biscuit? I'm good, thanks. Even better now for you. I was thinking, maybe I should get some martial arts lessons so I can defend myself when you're gone. I don't think that's a good idea. Why? Reasons. Besides, you're perfect as you are. Aw, oh, thanks, Mark. I gotta speak to everyone else, Tim. See you later. I can see you later, Mini Mavoy, Mark. Oh, hey, PJ. AJ. I'm AJ. Oh yeah, sorry. So how's the channel go? Pretty good actually. We're planning on an Earthbound musical, so we're thinking, would you maybe like to play Ness or Jeff? Yes! I mean, Earthbound is like the best game ever! Well, that's all then. I'll let you know what the script's done. Great, I'll show you P- uh, I mean AJ. Got it. Why can no one remember my name? <laughs> hey Ken! Oh hi Mark, how are you? I'm doing great. Look, I'm sorry for psychopathically breaking into your house and forcefully making you play video games while you were unconscious. I was just having one of those days. It's alright, I forgive you. Next time I think you should wait for an invite. Agreed. Anywho, I'll catch you later again. Alright, see you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Oh hey Ryan. Oh hey Mark. How's the channel going? Pretty good, I was thinking maybe we could shoot another wolf sash uh, sketch sometime. Sound good? Yeah, I'd love to. I'll check my schedule when I get back to LA and see you on the free. Sweet, see you then. Do, 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 do. We got? Oh Christ, there's even more. Box fan game. Wolf stash Tiny Tim cosplay. Wonderful piece of fan art. And those of you who can't care in community, da, da, da. keep on being there, we love you by Spring Fuck. Oh my god, there's. Like, they added all this shit in for him to read. Like, like, I mean, granted, there's three things there, but maybe there's more in other rooms. Yeah, like, these development room party. Yeah? Hi there, Mark. Hey, buddy, what's your name? My name's Matt, and I'm assistant developer at the Internet Game Studio. My big sister's actually the head developer. She's a huge fan of yours. Wait, you're a developer? How old are you? I'm 11. Well, you must be serious good at developing your age. Nice job, buddy. Thank you. What do we got here? We got Thomas's room, which I'm assuming. Oh hi! Oh hi, Mark. How are you? I'm good. Have you got a hang spoil yet? Almost. Way was shouting at me earlier because I put the leg on a head by accident, but I didn't. Well, I did call you Stoneface. Oh, wrong Tyler. I'm thinking of Ethan. 
Because this is, uh... Don't call yourself face Tyler. Well, you better say how to uh, police Billy Lighter. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. See you, Mark. <laughs> That's the Grumps. And... Hey, little bro, where you been? Hey, Thomas. There was an accident and drive to her. What was it? I kind of crushed my car. It's all fixed. Look, crap, are you all right? Yeah, I've got no harm done. I'm trying to avoid counting the road. Didn't hit it. And two kinds of people in a situation like that. See what I did there? Two kinds. Because I wrote... Yeah, I got it. It wasn't funny, though. Speak to the others. People who don't see you. Cool. Catch you later, Tom. And... John. Hmm. Cool. I always wanted to be an eagle. Really? Surprisingly, yeah. I kind of got jealous of Jacks at times. But yeah, there seems to be quite a bit here. I can't go through all of it because we are really pushing the time here. Mark's old room. I'm assuming something along his parents or something. There's Wade. Da -da -da. Bob, I'm assuming... Because that's Bob down there. That's glasses. Yummy! But what would Mark play a fan game be with that little Marky Mash? Very true. You busy later? No, not really. Wanna hang out? Sure, maybe we can go get some Guinness for Jack. Sounds good, catch you later. That's me, whenever people do uh, Yami's accent, they always make him sound Australian. And people always seem to think, oh, hello, I'm Yami Mash. Sounds English. Granted, that's a thing here. A warped version. A <laughs> mummy boy. Just have to see my little boy home. I'm 26. I'll always be my little boy. It was a bit cruel of him to uh, make his mother play, uh, what do you call it, Five Nights. Poor girl had no idea what the hell was going on. Chica! Woof. Hi, girl. Woof, woof. <laughs> oh, who's a good doggy? I'm a canine with who is incapable of human speech. Please refrain from questioning me when you are very much aware and capable of applying. I mean, woof. Bark, York. Bark, Bjork. Sniff. Bark, Bjork. Wolf. But, um, there's quite a bit uh, left. We're at a 40 minute marker here. I know some of that's going to be cut out for obvious of, you know, can't fucking well do that room or something. Uh, but yeah, it's amazing to see the amount of detail they put into this. And just having that room there having all these different comments have collected from people and the artworks. That's impressive. Because you gotta imagine, that must have took a while. Like, maybe they asked people to give him messages or things like that. And it's just kind of cool seeing that, you know? But uh, unfortunately, I've got to end things here. We defeated the evil, abusive uh, father. We uh, saved little girl's soul. They were having a party with a bunch of people. And, um... Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, okay. And, uh... Obviously, as I said, I have my own opinions on domestic abuse. Uh, it's a bad thing. Personally, I'd like to slap the shit out of people who do it, because... I mean... What well, better than to kick crap out of someone who's kicking the crap out of an innocent, right? But... I'm just that sort of vigilante-esque mindset when it comes to, uh, domestic abusers. So, um... I'm gonna try to gloss over that, cause it's kind of a heavy issue and I don't really want to weigh that down with, uh... Weigh the game down with me talking about that for too long. But yeah, the, uh... The game was surprisingly longer than I expected. But also kind of shorter than you would think after your initial thoughts of, uh, thinking. The, um, the quizzes weren't that bad. The last quiz really boned me, because the first five quizzes was all memory. And as you saw in the other videos, it's a mixed bag. It was kind of good, kind of bad. The last one really boned me, because I had no idea about any of those videos whatsoever. And, uh, I know I may have got frustrated there. I did get frustrated. I didn't may get frustrated. I fucking well did. That's just because I just really hate having to redo things over and over again. It's a big fuck around for me in uh, a video game. But, um, yeah, otherwise it's uh, nice seeing this. And, I mean, it's a shame that he was never really... Like, he, he could have played it, don't get me wrong. It's just, he never made a video out of it, so I can't say he did. 
And it's a shame because you've got to imagine all these comments and the artwork there could have just been gloss over. Which is, a, which is a shame because I actually like that, you know, like they put a room full of people's comments and artwork to basically turn around and go, look, here's a bunch of people who say nice things about you. And I thought that was this kind of uh, sweet thing. Now, obviously the game probably is old by now. I mean, the uh, developers are probably older than they are now. They probably even learnt more about uh, RPG Maker VX Ace. Which, by the by, if you uh, actually want to include other people in um, scenes, not that difficult. It's, it's just a big, me it's a big mess around, you know? You have to really mess with the commands. Same as if you want a uh, monster chasing you. That's a parallel uh, process. Because you've ha got to have that performing an action in the same time as the character. It's, it's a bit of a screw around, but if you mess around enough and test it out a while, you actually learn pretty quickly, because I use the same system. So, um, this has been A Dream of Markiplier, a game by uh, various fans of Markiplier. Uh, not, uh, not a bad game. A decent amount of definite. A lot of things that wasn't necessary to be in there, like various rooms which didn't really have anything in. But, um, yeah, they cooked up a big story for it, and they had two different endings, and they had all these... Like, the videos is impressive, because that, that would have been a pain in the ass to actually manage to do. It's a pain in the ass for me to edit, so it's a pain in the ass to put it in the game as well. Never mind that. But, uh, yeah. It's uh, on Game Jolt if you guys want to try it out, if you want to see the bad ending, if you want to read things I may have glossed over, or if you're one of the people who the game was actually made for, can find your own easter egg, perhaps. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. So, uh, I've been a British Wolf, this has been A Dream of Markiplier, and I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now.